Hey guys, we're back with another mixed coin hunt here. I uh, went to one of my banks, asked them if they had some coins, and they said uh, they had a, a small amount that they could give me. But I was surprised to see they were all machine wrapped, so that's hopefully a good sign. So, uh, well, I guess there's one customer wrapped dime roll in there, but we'll see what that is. But uh, let's get into it. We'll start with the quarters, work our way down in denomination, and I'll bring you in on the first find. Okay, I'm on roll six, and we finally got a uh, a find worth showing. Got a 1954 out of San Francisco. Nice. And then I saw the end looked old. Let's see what this is. A 52. Nice, 1952 out of Philly. And then uh, this one looks old. 42 out of Denver. Nice. Not silver though. 42 out of Denver. Very cool. Okay, so we're on the board of the 40s and 50s. Hopefully uh, we'll find something else. Alright. Okay, same roll. We got a 47 out of Philly. And then I already peeked at this one right here. This is a 49 out of Philly. It's a good roll. What's this one? 39, 1939. I didn't see if there was a mint mark. Let's see if there is. Looks like no, that would be a Philly. But we can look for the doubling, so let me grab my loop and I'll look for that real quick. No, I don't see any doubling. But it is a 39, and I will take it. Now, based on what we saw already, let's see if there's anything else old in here. This looks old. No, 62. 64. 78. Alright, that looks like it for the oldies. Alright, I'll bring you back when I find something else. Okay, I'm on roll 6, and I just grabbed this little batch here, and then I see something interesting here. Oh, it's a 48. I thought it was a 45. A 48 out of Denver. It is an oldies. So that's good. Alright, 48 out of Denver. And then this one looked kind of old back here too. Let's see what we got here. A 1940 out of Philly. And let's check this one out too. No, that's a 90. Nope. Alright, let's keep going. I did miss something in the bottom of that little stack I was holding. 1958 out of Denver. In pretty good shape. Alright. Well, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 10 and I just laid it out and noticed that there's a 51 sitting right here. 51 out of Denver. And then I saw something that looked possibly old right here. 53 out of Philly. That is a chewed up coin. Look at that thing. 2000, I think. Alright, let's see if there's anything else in here. 62. Ooh, 1940. 1940 out of Philly. I'm guessing someone dumped their old 40s and 50s because I'm getting a lot of randoms in here. Alright, I'll bring in if I missed anything. Okay, I'm on roll 11 and I saw this coin and was moved, moved this side thinking, what on earth is that? It's a really beat up 2009 out of Denver. Pretty bad shape, but uh, it is a fine, so I'll set it aside for now. Okay, I'm on roll 12, and look at this 1957. I just found a beauty like this the other day. This one might be better. This is amazing. Fifty-seven out of Denver. Man, that's a shiny coin. But either way, that's going into my collection, regardless of being an upgrade. All right, let's keep going. 
Okay, I'm on roll 13, and there's something interesting there. I don't think it's silver, but I thought I'd bring you in for it, just in case it's something cool. Wow, that's ugly. Oh, it is silver! Nice! 1945. Man, I cannot see that mint mark. But it is a 45. Let me go see if I can clean this up. Here, let me first zoom in and see if we can see it together. I really can't tell. But let's verify it is a 45. No doubt about it, that's a 45. So that is a war nickel. But I'm going to see if I can clean that off and make that a little, a little more presentable. Okay, I stared at that war nickel for a while and I couldn't figure out what the uh, mint mark was. Tried to wash it off, couldn't really get much off of it. So I put it into a little tub with uh, some lemon juice. I've never done it to a war nickel, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But uh, it's pretty trashed anyway, so uh, I don't really mind. So we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. Anyway, I started going through the rest of the roll. This is still the same roll. And I got back-to-back -back finds here. We got a 1946 out of Philly. And a 1946 out of Philly. Let's see if there's anything else in here. No, nope, not in my hand, but I'll go through this and bring you in if I find something. Still the same roll. I just picked up this little batch and revealed a 1941. Out of... Denver, I believe. Yeah, that's Denver. All right. A lot of finds in here. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 14, and I got another find here in 1953 out of Denver. And I think I see something else back here. I'm guessing there's a couple things in here. Let's see. Oh, nothing else. Wait, what's this? No, 64. This one looks old. Nope, 64. Alright, I'll bring you in if I find something. Okay, I'm on roll 16 here. And I got a 41 out of Denver. <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything else right here. No, 70, 21, 17. Nope. Alright, let's get going. Okay, same roll. I got a 1957 uh, out of Denver right here. Um, it didn't look what's in my hand. Now look at this uh, uh, recent buffalo nickel, not the not the old buffalo nickel. But look at how great that is. Oh, it's got a little ring of death. Oh, no, that's not a ring of death. That's just part of the design. Hmm, looks like it's a really great shape. I might hold on to that, I'm not sure. But I saw something that looks old here. It's either old or it's a 64. 47. Out of Denver. Nice. Alright, let's see if there's anything else old here. Nope. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll uh, 17 here. No, 18. Yeah, 18. And I got another 2009 out of Denver. Not in great shape, but I'll take it. Okay, I'm on roll 19, and I got a 1941 out of Philly. And then uh, I also saw something that looked old in the back here, popping out right here. Nope, <laughs> 87. That's not very old. Let's see anything else jumping out at me. Alright, I don't see anything. I did miss something in there. We got a 1946 out of Philly. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll to 20 here. And uh, I got a 1948 out of Denver. The edge looked interesting, so I pulled it out from right here. So that's a 48, and then this one looked kind of interesting too, these two, actually these three, let's see. No, just an 85, 2016, and a beat up 86. Alright. 
Okay, still on that last roll. 1942 out of Philly. Not a war nickel. Like I said, this is the last roll. Man, I wish I had the whole box. This seems like it was a really, really good box. Oh, that looks old. Up 58. 58 out of Denver. Nope. Alright, I think that's it. But if there's anything else exciting, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, we'll move on to pennies. Okay, finish hunting the pennies and uh, no wheat cents. Not a single one in the all 10 rolls. We did get a 71D that's in very nice shape. We got a 79P in very nice shape. And the closest we got to a wheat cent was a 59D. But, uh, like I said, no wheat cents. Kind of surprising. Um, so let's do a little wrap up. Okay, before I get into the wrap up, I thought I'd show you the progress on the Warnickel. I put it in that lemon juice, and I have to say I am extraordinarily impressed with how it came out. So here it is. It is for sure 1945, no doubt about that, but look at the back. Clearly a filly. All that gunk came off. I just let it sit there for most of the hunt, and uh, then when I was done, I took a toothbrush and kind of wiped it off the best I could, and used a little Dawn soap to to get the rest of it off and, and some uh, really hot water. But I'm I'm truly impressed with how good it looks now. I mean, obviously it's not a great coin, but I mean, the P is very visible. I thought the P was gone from that last, uh, from before I put it in there. Anyhow, it is a 1945 out of Philly, and it is a war nickel, and that's an awesome find. All right, let's uh, get to the full wrap up here. Okay, we are all done hunting those rolls, and that was a weird batch of coins. The quarters didn't produce anything. Of course, there's only three rolls, so that's not too surprising. The dimes didn't produce anything. The nickels way overproduced. A lot of fines in there. And the pennies underperformed for sure. We didn't get any wheat cents, but we did get some nice coppers. So let's look at the pennies first. Uh, there's the 1959D, the 71D and 79p and then looking at the nicer nickels we got two beautiful 2005 buffalo nickels that are very nice I'll, I'll hold on to those two 2009 out of denver's one of them quite terrible the other one not so bad and then looking at the 50s we got a 1951d a 1952p a 1953p and a 1953d a 1954s a beautiful 1957D, uh, not as beautiful 1957D, uh, 1958D, and another 1958D. And then looking at the 40s, we got a 1940 out of Philly, two of them. We got um, a 1941 out of Philly and two 1941s out of Denver. We got uh, two 1942 uh, coins, one Philly, one Denver. And then here we have a 1946, uh, one of them out of Philly. Oh no, we got three of them, and they're all from Philly. And we got two 1947s, one from Philly, one from Denver. And then we got a 1948, uh, two of them from Denver, and a 1949 from Philly. And then the stars of our show, a 1939 out of Philly. Second year Jefferson, very nice. And our 1945 out of Philly War Nickel. In shockingly good shape after some cleanup. So overall, really good hunt. Um, I wish we produced more from the other uh, denominations, but hey, I'll take all this all day. So, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next hunt.